Good afternoon. Um, this is Christy Matthews here from Baker High School. And we have uh, Ms. Cassandra mm -hmm. Holman, uh, counselor at Davidson High School. And we're here again with you today and we're gonna share some success strategies for online learning. We know that many of you are embarking upon uh, this type of learning for the very first time. Others of you may be more experienced. However, we're just gonna share some tips with you so that you will be most successful in your online studying this particular semester. Okay, all right, first off, respecting the course. That is so important. Uh, you must do the work in order to get the credit. This is so important. It is an actual course. It is a class. You will get the credit if you do the work. So you should treat it as though it is a face-to-face -face class. All right. Um, so students, we just want you to know that we are counting on you to do your coursework. Whether you chose the online platform or you chose to take the packet home, please make sure that you're doing your work. It's our hope that you'll start next school year ready for your next grade level. We know you can do this, so keep up the good work. Exactly. So now think about this, holding yourself accountable. Many times, you know, we rely on our teachers to hold us accountable, but in this situation, you're going to be most reliant upon yourself. So it is important that you be organized, that you create a schedule for yourself and stick to that schedule and make sure that you're being proactive in any assignments that you may have to do throughout this particular term. So make sure you set some goals for yourself and make sure that you are not procrastinating and waiting to the last minute to finish your assignments. That's right, it's so important to pace yourself. Um, make sure that you have a time that you're gonna sit down at your computer and sit down and do your work in 15 to 30 minute increments. Mm -hmm. Treat it just like you're doing your homework. When you're in school, right. you know, counselors go in and teach you lessons about having good study habits. And one of the things that we talk to you about right. is sitting down and studying in increments. So whether it's 15 to 30 minutes, sit down mm -hmm. every day and look at each class um, at least once a day. Make sure that you're mm -hmm. checking your emails at least once a day exactly. as well. That's so important. Next, practicing time management. Here again, you wanna make sure that you create yourself a schedule. If you have multiple courses, making sure that you dedicate enough time to each class, making sure that you set blocks of time where you work and complete your assignments and even give yourself a break, of course, and then come back and jump right in. Um, make sure that you check in periodically with yourself as well as your teacher, teacher, making sure that you are asking yourself questions like, am I getting things done in enough time? Do I need to allot for more time? Um, when is my best time? Is my system working uh, as it is or do I need to revise it? Maybe instead of studying at night when I'm more apt to be tired, maybe I should begin studying more so during the day. That's right. Make sure that when you make that schedule, you keep your schedule. This is for your own self-discipline. Oh, yeah. Again, going back to some of your guidance lessons, all of this can be used to help you in your future. One of the things that we try to teach you is that even as an adult, you are going to have to make and keep schedules. Everybody's so excited about graduating right. for high school and they just think that's gonna be the best thing ever. And it is the best thing. Just know that when you, once you graduate from high school, or even during this time, you don't have someone, you don't have an alarm going off telling you that you have to be in class at a certain time. Right. You're relying on yourself and your self-motivation to make sure that you're getting up and you're checking your coursework every day. Right. So use this time to practice those skills you're going to need as an adult. Get yourself up mm -hmm. every day make yourself get on the computer or get your packet out and, and build that self-discipline for yourself, not only to get this work done, but also for your future. Right. I like to tell students all the time in your adult world, 
nobody wants an employee that's just going to do the minimum. <laughs> right. If you want more out of life, you have to be willing to do more. So use this time to practice motivating yourself to do more. So, so get up and do those classes, make the schedule, and keep the schedule. This is so good for you. It is. Creating a study space and staying organized, be it the kitchen table, uh, you may have a special space at home that, that is just for you, or you may even have a desk that you set up and work from, but mainly making sure that you do set aside that space so that you can work every day and be comfortable, not have uh, too many distractions. That's, that's key uh, to being sure that you stay on track and that you are successful in any situation, um, be it an at-home situation, um, in your future work environment, as Ms. Holman stated, that is so important. Also making sure that you have your technical requirements or supplies. Making sure that you have a good working laptop computer or desktop. Uh, looking at your internet connection, making sure that you have an adequate connection so that you are not interrupted while you're trying to, let's say, submit an assignment or if you're watching a live video um, or if you're having any type of interacting or interaction during your uh, class. Also, any additional materials that you may need in order to complete assignments, such as paper, pencils, um, anything else, highlighters, what have you, just making sure you have those things on hand so that you don't have to stop and look for those items. Yeah, and I just wanted to add to when you're in your study space, um, especially if you have technology, please don't eat and drink <laughs> um, because, you know, if you get the food or the drink on your technology, um, that's going to make it not problem. work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that would not and be And I know want. I have to think about that myself <laughs> at home. So um, make sure that when you have your study space, it's dedicated for your studying. Mm -hmm. um, That's true. The other tip I wanted to add is try not to make your study space your bed. Um, a lot of times Very you good. see on TV people sitting there with their computer in their bed right. um, that might be comfortable, but it's also maybe a little too comfortable yes. and it will be too <laughs> easy for you to get distracted and take a nap. So my suggestion would be um, maybe not make your bed your comfortable uh, study space. That's a good point. I like that. <laughs> Eliminating distractions. That is so key um, to any type of at-home uh, learning situation. Uh, you may not have the privilege of being isolated in a room by yourself, but you may have to share that space with other siblings or maybe a parent that may be working from home. So it's going to be very important for you to try to find a little uh, carve out a little niche for yourself so that you can have uninterrupted uh, course time. Uh, turning off or silencing your cell phone or even putting it away during this time would be best. Making sure that the television is not on um, so that you aren't distracted and, and wanting to watch uh, the latest episode of the show you've been streaming. Um, and of course, just finding that quiet space away from maybe some younger siblings that may be playing at this time or just someone maybe having a conversation with someone else. But you want to just make sure that you have some dedicated space to cut out all that extra interaction while you are focusing on your coursework. That's right. We want you to get mm -hmm. that coursework done. Right. Figure out how you learn best. Consider the time of day. For some, it may be early morning. For others, it may be afternoon. And some of us may be night owls. And we may like to stay up. Uh, later than some to get that work done. But whatever works best for you, you have to determine that for yourself. Even um, just the type of environment some of us do like to have, maybe some soft music playing in the background, um, others like complete and total quiet, whatever makes you feel your best and, and most comfortable where you can get things done, that's what we want you to focus on. That's right. Um, and like Ms. Matthew said, find the time of day that works best for you. Even when we were planning this, we had two different times <laughs> that we <laughs> worked best in True. our planning. So we, but we respected um, each other's work habits, and so we were able to work uh, with each other when it came exactly. to that. Exactly. 
So I do happen to work better in the morning. So since I know that about myself, I make sure that the uh, most important or the hardest activity that I have to do, I will do that activity first thing in the morning. Okay. Um, same thing with your study habits. Go back to your guidance lessons. Remember that when you have your hardest work to do, uh, make sure that you're doing that work when you're at your best. Wow. Um, because that's when you're going to need those thinking skills and your concentration. And then that way, when you have your easier work to do and you're more tired, exactly. you'll be able to get it done. We want you to be able to get your work done during this time. So learn about yourself and try to figure out what your best time of the day is. Remember, keeping that schedule is what's going to keep you motivated to get through all of this. Exactly communicating and that's what uh, basically we want to kind of end on that um, if you need help make sure that you ask for it yes please do not suffer in silence make no. sure that you uh, make your need known to your teacher or even a counselor let them know hey I'm having a little difficulty with this I didn't quite grasp this last assignment or I'm having difficulty with completing assignments, or I'm having technical issues. Can you help me? That is so important that you reach out and not uh, keep that to yourself because it can affect your, your performance in your class. Um, so making sure that you consult with your teacher as needed, that is critical uh, to being successful in any type of online learning situation, um, or even if you do have uh, the learning packet at home making sure that you know how to reach out if you need time or need some additional help or you may need additional time to complete an assignment um, and make sure that you give them enough time to respond to you they yeah. may not be able, mm -hmm. able to answer you in a minute or two minutes but at least give them the remainder of that day to answer you back and give you a response and try to assist you in whatever way possible. That is such a good mm -hmm. point. That is oftentimes something that I will um, talk to parents and students about. When you reach out to your teacher or even one of us, we may not be able to know how to answer your question immediately. Sometimes I know I have to think through my answers sometimes. So do give your teacher or the counselor a, um, a day or so to process all of the information that they need to gather for you so that they can give you the best answer possible. The last thing I wanted to make sure that I said to you is please hang in there. <laughs> we know that this is difficult for you. Um, it's difficult for us too because we miss you. We would rather be in school working with you in person. And I know that, um, I know most students, I don't think, pref at least most of the students that I t talk to don't prefer doing online learning. They would rather be in front of their teacher and with their classmates. You might not want to admit this, but school is fun. Yes. <laughs> That's where you're seeing your friends. That's where yeah. um, you're, you're getting to interact with one another. And school is so important because mm -hmm. it's a protected environment where you're learning appropriate uh, methods of communication in, an, in a nurturing environment where you can be corrected in a way that will help you be a successful adult. So this is a very difficult time for you not to be in school, but yeah. just hang in there and know that we miss you. We, we look do. forward to hearing <laughs> from you. So reach out to us if you do have questions and we will do our best to help you from home. But hang in there, keep up the good work, good luck, and take care.